this third tip to improve your productivity in AutoCAD is to use the dim scale system variable. So many times at offices, I see that if you open the dim style, um, the dimensions style using the dimsty uh, option over here, uh, you will see that offices or people in general, they create so many different dimension uh, styles for, you know, according to each specific scale or size. So let me show you, this was an old alternative, but there is now a better and quicker and more productive way to manage the sizes for your dimensions using again the dim scale. So for instance, let me close that out. And right now, let's go to paper space. Um, so in order to first um, know the size of your dimension, let's get into the viewport, which is right here. And we can see that the scale for this drawing is 330 seconds, right? 330 seconds of an inch. So let me go and find uh, my scale factor chart, which is this one over here. And at this point, you already know how to download this chart. Uh, if you don't know, I'm going to put another link on the video description so you can uh, get this chart because it's very helpful even for beginners or advanced users. So again, 330 seconds. Uh, let's go down here. And we can see that the factor is 128. So let's remember that factor, right? And let's go over here on model space. And let's set the dim scale to 128. Sorry, dim scale, enter. 128 and enter. So it looks like nothing really happened, but whenever we drew a dimension now, right? You see a regular dimension command. Let's say let's um, dimension this part over here. You can see that our text comes to the correct size only using the dim scale. So again, if we change our dim, dim scale to a different uh, scale, just to give you another example. So let's go here. Let's say you're using uh, one eighth right of an inch um, scale or viewport scale and you will see that is 96 so let's go and let's change our dim scale to 96 like so and press enter so again if i add one more dimension uh, you will see that the dimension will come in the correct size or a scale like so all right so that's a way for you to never create so many dimension styles. You don't have to do that. Only use this tip, which is setting up your dim scale according to the chart. So that way you only need one dimension style, all right?